viewers, welcome to another exciting episode of today's show on Nebo TV. Today we're going to be talking about a very important female personality in our society. She's an activist of women and children's rights, girl child to be specific. Her name is Aisha Buhari, the wife of the current president of Nigeria, the first lady of this great nation. Well, before we go into her deeds as an activist for female children and women's rights, let's take a look at her early life. Aisha Buhari, whose birth name is Aisha Halilu, was born in Adamawa State in the northeastern region of Nigeria on the 17th of February 1971. Aisha came from a political family. Her grandfather, Alahaji Mohamandu Rabadu, used to be a prominent figure in Nigerian politics, holding the title of the first minister of defense in the country's history after independence. The father of Aisha worked as a civil engineer, while her mother came from the famous family, the Akalin in the Hausa tribe. The first lady attended both primary and secondary school in her native place, Adamawa State. She is very educated as she holds a public administration bachelor degree, which she got from Amadu Bello University. After that, she obtained an international affairs master's degree. After her studies at the Nigerian Defense Academy, which is in Kaduna, Aisha Buhari had a very strong interest in beauty therapy. And eventually she went to study at the Carlton Institute of Beauty Therapy, a professional school which is situated in Windsor, United Kingdom. She managed to receive a diploma at this institution. Eventually she also gained a postgraduate diploma in cosmetology and beauty at a French school, Academy Estique Beauty Institute of France. This woman's interest in beauty has always been very prominent and she managed to start a business centered around it. She was the founder and managing director of a company called Hansi Spa and the principal at the beauty saloon Hansi Beauty Institute, which is located in Abuja and Kaduna. She took part in the development of the curriculum for national basic technical education enterprises and she also works as a resource person there in cosmetology and beauty therapy. Aisha Buhari has even published her own book on beauty therapy, which is among the recommendation of the National Basic Technical Education Enterprise Study Curriculum. When her husband emerged to become the president, Aisha Buhari had to close her beauty parlor. Well, we are moving straight to her Amarita life, how she got married to the great president of this nation, Muhammadu Buhari. I'm sure you're waiting to hear this just the news. Stay tuned. Aisha Buhari's marriage with Muhammadu Buhari has lasted nearly 30 years. They have five children together, and just like Muhammadu Buhari's previous marriage, they have four daughters and one son. Their names are Aisha, Halima, Zaria, Yusuf, and Amina. They also have one grandchild. All of the children have successful lives and are involved in some kind of business. Aisha Buhari was actively campaigning for her husband's presidential run in 2015 when the election took place. However, even though Muhammadu and Aisha Buhari seem to have a strong and stable relationship, they do have occasional disagreements. Aisha is the kind of woman who would tell her husband outright if she found something wrong with his policies. The most famous incident was when, in 2016, in the interview with BBC, Aisha said that if her husband does not build a strong government, she will not campaign for his second term election. She said that neither she nor her husband knows the majority of people who has been appointed for his government. And that if nothing changes, she is not planning to promote his campaign among the fellow women. However, Muhammad Buhari fired back at his wife saying that her place is in the kitchen and other room. 
It was a controversial statement which was met with a lot of outrage from those who support female empowerment and equality. And it did not help that he said these words in front of German leader Angela Merkel. Later, the spokesman of the president said he was just joking. It is unknown how Aisha reacted to these words, but she clarified that she did not mean to show disrespect with this kind of interview. She only spoke the truth. And she added that she stands by her words. It is assumed that the president and his wife managed to solve this misunderstanding given that they are still married and no signs were implying the possible divorce. Though the first lady still speaks on her husband's government whenever she can, and if she has any controversial thoughts, she has no trouble voicing them publicly. I don't know which party my wife belongs to, but uh, she belongs to my kitchen and my living room and the other room. Even though Aisha Buhari is much more younger than Muhammad Buhari because she got married to him when she was just 18 years old, but they still have a very good relationship. Aisha is the second wife of Muhammad Buhari. Before her, he used to marry another woman. Her name was Hajia Safinatu, and she was bright and educated. Their marriage ceremony took place in 1971. Mohamed Buhari had five children together with his first wife, Hajia Safinatu, four girls and a boy. Hajia Safinatu was not a very public person and she hardly ever appeared with her husband at important events. Sometimes she paid private visits to different states which were not widely documented. In general, when her husband became a public person, she said that their life had changed as he did not have a lot of time for his family anymore. It is believed that Safina to divorce Muhammad Buhari after he was overthrown from his position of head of state in 1985 and thrown into prison because it was too much of a burden for her. A few years later, in 1989, he found a new wife, Haisha Halilu, and married her. Hajia was revealed to suffer from diabetes in 1998 and in 2006. After eight years of a battle against this disease, she passed away at the age of 53. Let's take a look at facts about Aisha Buhari. Just as we said earlier, Aisha Buhari is a cosmetologist, a beauty therapy and an author of a beauty book. She is also a subtle feminist who fights for girl power and female education. Aisha Buhari's beauty book titled Essentials of Beauty Therapy was launched in April 2016, about a year after she assumed the duties of the wife of Nigerian president. Mrs. Buhari is a subtle feminist who fights for girl power, female education, and against forced early marriages, sex trafficking, and other issues Nigerian girls and women contend with. Her vocal advocate for women and children's rights gave her a focal point during her campaign for her husband's election in 2015. It was in fact a campaign strategy that gave her husband an edge over his opponent. Aisha Buhari is 28 years younger than her husband but has more formal educational qualifications than him. In October 2016, Aisha Buhari made a very shocking remark about her husband and his political party. She said that she wouldn't back her husband in the next election because she isn't impressed with the way he's running the government. Aisha Buhari is a master degree holder in the International Affairs and Strategic Studies from the Nigerian Defense Army, Kaduna, and is currently taking a counseling course on codependency in the United Kingdom. She owns a beauty salon in Kaduna and Abuja and is the CEO of Hansa Spa and principal of Hansa Beauty Institute. Aisha Buhari prefers to be called Mrs. Buhari or wife of the president as opposed to the title First Lady of Nigeria, 
However, her daughter broke the principle when wishing her a happy birthday on her 46th birthday, 17th February 2017. Aisha Buhari is a women's rights activist and a girl child education advocate. She established the Aisha Buhari's Foundation. This is an organization concerned about the welfare of Nigerian women and children. Aisha Buhari is a very passionate activist for women's rights. She has been very vocal about her views on female and children's rights. And she made it a main point during campaign for the election of her husband, Muhammad Buhari, in 2015. On a few occasions, Aisha has made emphasis on the educational aspect, saying that young girls have to get basic education before forcefully getting married. She strongly condemns child marriage and believes that girls should not marry until they are at least 17 years of age and have a primary and secondary school education. She is also against child trafficking and kidnapping. At the Global Women Conference, which was held in May 2015 in Argentina, Aisha Buhari spoke in favor of women's rights, emphasizing on the crucial need for laws in Nigeria which will protect young women from being forced into marriages from young age, marital abuse, and other major problems that women face in Nigeria. She called for appropriate legislation in Nigeria which will defend the rights of women and children. In June 2015, Aisha Buhari had a meeting with the mothers of kidnapped Chibo girls. She donated some money that she made from her book to the case of these girls, as well as the Buni Yadi boys who were killed in 2014, and the young stars who suffered from malnutrition. The First Lady of Nigeria is also the founder of the social initiative called Future Assured. This initiative was created for Aisha Buhari to go on with her health, female and child rights advocacy work. The reason that inspired her to create this organization was the necessary improvement of the poor health of the vulnerable population groups. At a stakeholders meeting for the organization, she confirmed her future commitment to it. The public launch of this program took place on September 29, 2015 in New York City. Except that Aisha Buhari has been supporting initially displaced people who have been forced to escape their home in light of the Boko Haram insurgency, which first became a massive problem in 2009. The First Lady has established a committee which deals with relief material distribution to the IDP camps. Aisha Buhari is a worthy first lady who supports a lot of social initiative and is educated in many fields. She is a businesswoman, a beautician, a published writer, and a fighter for female and children's rights. Aisha is a staunch critic of early child marriage, homosexuality, and violence against women. As a result, she established the Aisha Buhari Foundation, an organization concerned about the welfare of Nigerian women and children. Through her foundation, she also established the Future Assured Program. Future Assured Program is a project targeted at ending depression, abuse, and challenges women and children go through. Basically, it was founded with the aim of improving the well-being of lives of women and children through advocacy. Through these platforms, Aisha has done several charitable services to help the female gender. For instance, she constructed a fully equipped maternity complex in Daora General Hospital. She has sponsored several surgeries and children's health care services. In 2017, she placed about 60 orphans from Daora on scholarship and also shared food items in Castina State. Also, in 2019, she empowered 2,000 women in Adamawa State. She also launched a green school agricultural initiative at Aliyu Mustafa College, Yola. Aisha's passion for women empowerment grew as a result of her upbringing in the northern region where the female gender was educationally disadvantaged. Across the borders of Nigeria to the western world, 
Aisha Buhari has received membership recognition due to her advocacy for women's rights and girl child education in recent times. Due to huge advocacy for women and girl child in recent times, Aisha has received both local and international recognition as well as international membership. Some of these include African Empowerment Legend 2017, Humanitarian Award, Face Honors Award 2017, Award of Excellence, UNICEF Award 2018, Honorary Doctorate of Philosophy in Public Administration, Sun Moon University 2018, World Leadership Prize, Agile University 2018, Global Award of Excellence, Global Empowerment Movement Corporation 2018, and a few others. Her international memberships includes a member of the UK Vocational Training and Charitable Trust, member of the International Health and Beauty Council, special ambassador for the elimination of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and promotion of treatments for children living with HIV in Nigeria. Nebo TV is available for sponsorship. Advertise your business, organization, and products on Nebo TV. Contact our representative in Canada and Nigeria with the phone numbers and email address on the screen. Mm -hmm.